Virgo. This is Kelly. Welcome back to my channel, House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hello everybody. How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link. That will take you to my booking site. All right, please remember, be mindful. These are general love messages. Some messages may or they may not resonate for you. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Okay, let's get started here, Virgo. See what your love messages are. Virgo's love messages. Okay, Ace of Swords. King of Wands. Okay, eight of cups. I'm sorry, nine of cups. <laughs> eight of cups. Strange how they just came out right after that. Okay, seven of cups. What the heck's going on? The eight of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. What is going on? Six of pentacles and whoa judgment okay bottom of the deck the two of swords somebody's making a decision hmm making a judgment call at this time there could be some blocking something to do with a, a third party or some kind of interference or a breakup or some kind of an argument maybe blocking after an argument not talking to each other um Okay, the King of Pentacles here. Yeah, either somebody's blocking you after like they're not, or they're not talking to you. There was some kind of argument. Now it's like stalemate. Nothing, nothing has come of this. There's no communication at this time. There's either it was an argument or a heartbreaking situation. Okay, <laughs> Ace of Wands. So this could somebody. Somebody's butt hurt because they didn't get that physical thing that they wanted with another person. Okay, this is a strange message. Two of Wands at a crossroad was waiting for it. Somebody was waiting to get the D. <laughs> or wait, <laughs> waiting to get it e either way. And there was either some kind of argument, maybe somebody cheated. Okay. Um, Somebody withheld SEX from a relationship as punishment. That's harsh. All right, let me see. Drama, drama. Virgo's love life. Saga, drama. Episode number what? All right, what are the love messages here for Virgo? Okay, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Heart to heart conversation. And give your relationship a chance. Okay, there's a little bit of. There's a little bit of um, saltiness in the past here. Okay, definitely, I feel. Either there was an argument and someone got blocked, or someone. Um, felt inspired to just move on maybe it was you maybe it was another person but what i'm seeing here with your person at this time um they're showing up so we have aries leo gemini i'm sorry why do i say Ger gemini aries leo sagittarius strange and scorpio i don't know where i got gemini from there's a lot of water and a lot of earth here okay so there's a king of wands energy here as well Okay, so your person is coming in at the king as the king of wands, king or queen. Okay, um, this person is going to be communicating with you, um, taking some bold steps here. They want to something around the holidays. Around the holidays, you get some type of communication, the truth coming out, some clarity, overcoming problems or obstacles that you both may have experienced or in the past or are currently experiencing now. Let's get a clarifier for this King of Wands to see what's going on. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Doesn't want to be in this 
stressed anxiety situation anymore. Um, maybe because you blocked them, there was some kind of argument or something happened. Did you block them or just say you're out, you're done, no more? You're inspired to just, you were inspired to just leave. You were like, this is it, straw <laughs> and the camel's back, the final straw. Um, some of you are definitely missing that, you know what, but that's okay because you're just like, it's not worth it. And this person still thinks it's worth it. And I feel like, I feel like they want to, um, they're going to open up the lines of communication. They're going to initiate some type of communication with you. Yep, five of wands, and they're not taking no for an answer. They're going to talk to you. Oh, yes. They're going to find a way. I know some of you have this person blocked, and there's no way they're going to find a way in. Trust my word on that. They'll find some kind of app or uh, leave a message or a note somewhere around your house or at your work or on your car. Yep, they're coming to talk to you sometime around the holidays. Maybe get a Christmas gift or Thanksgiving or some holiday something or other. Okay, that feels like Thanksgiving because the Nine of Cups, I always feel like that's the cornucopia, you know, it's got the, the harvest, you know, that it's the big harvest, you know, reaping what we sow, our wishes coming true here. Okay, there's the sun, Leo energy for some of you. So this person, I feel like they've let go. Like whatever happened in the past, they, they want to overcome these problems. Whatever issues, if there was cheating or an argument or something, this person wants to, they're coming in like with their gloves on. They want to fight to get you back and to like just, I just hear somebody, come on, knock it off, come on. Look, we had a spat. Look, don't, please stop ignoring me, that kind of thing, you know, or things didn't work. Like they want you back. So here's heart to heart conversation. Okay. So this person is coming in with like total, uh, like to tell you how they feel, tell you how they feel. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, the separation between us has been very difficult. I don't think I can keep going on like this, but I know that I have, like you ghosted me. Um, some of you Virgos ghosted somebody here. I just kind of feel like this person's in this position here where I know them saying, I know I, I know I was in fantasy land and I know that I wasn't being responsible and cause that's the seven of cups energy. That's basically like not committing to anything, you know, having too many options or they were messing around or having too many choices. Okay. And this eight of cups, they always leaving this temporary separation, pulling away and chasing after their fantasies. Virgo, you guys just like, some of you just walked out that, you said that is it, you have drawn the line in the sand. There is no crossing that boundary, that border. You are finished, kaput, adios, mfr, you are done. And this is a problem for your person. I know some of you are like, it's not my problem. It's their, it's their problem. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles is here coming in. They want to put this work in. They want to put this work in. Tell you how they feel. All right, let's take a look. So it's two eights. Let's take a look at this eight. This Eight of Cups, this temporary separation. Okay, yeah. That time apart has given this person new perspective for sure. I don't think, Virgo, some of you, I don't think you've ever left this person permanently. I feel like you maybe dipped out maybe for a little while or you pulled away for a little while, but I don't think you've ever said like you pulled the plug on this completely 100%. And if you have, right, this is for those of you who have or who, who have already made it up in their mind that they're not returning, um, which is essentially the same as pulling the plug on it this person's coming back in. If you're still lingering and you're still hanging out, this person's got no reason to come after you because you're, you know, you're there, you're available. So, um, Piscean energy here. So there's definitely a wake up call happening for this person and like a new perspective, seeing things different. They're seeing you differently. Virgo, I don't feel like this person expected you like you had the moxie or the wherewithal to just walk away and say, that's it. 
and you know, uh, go graze in greener pastures elsewhere. I don't feel like, gosh, I sound like an 80 year old woman when I say that. I don't think you had it in you to just kick this person to the curb or just be done with it. They're surprised. This person is surprised. Seven of Cups here. Now you're, okay. Now we have the King of Swords here. Okay, that's air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They might, this person might have been connecting with another air sign and that was just more of a fantasy and it just was like, but they weren't committed to that person. Um, <clears throat> or that's who you're currently, or that's who your person was. Okay, air energy, right? So non-committal. Non-committal King of Swords. Not all King of Swords. Not all Swords energy are non-committal. But let me take a look here. Eight of Pentacles. Why the effort here? Making this effort, putting in the work, really being uh, being diligent with the connect with you. Oh, because hmm. you're their peace of mind. They want healing. Who is this person? How did, did they have some kind of a wake up call? Like in a sense where like this is big, like the hangman. I know I said wake up call the, hang, the hangman. They did hear. Here we go. Judgment. They did in a sense where they have this th this new perspective, but it feel like it's a pr new perspective on you. I don't feel like this person has ever seen you this way. I don't feel like they expected you to come across like this. I feel like. They maybe thought that you guys would just see each other again in another time. But Bert Virgo, it seems to me, even if you didn't tell this person you were done, like they're sensing it. You know why? Because you're not chasing after them. You know why? Because you're not a police officer and they're not a criminal. Because you're not getting paid to chase anybody. So Virgo's not chasing anybody. Sure, put a hundred bucks in my pocket every other day and I'll chase your ass. But you're like, no, pay me. Otherwise, it's not worth it. This is what I feel like is going on here with you. Um, and this person is like, holy moly. Putting in the effort as well because with the Four of Swords, you've retreated. You've gone silent. You're like, mm -mm. I want to pull a card for the hangman. All right, Virgo. Yep. Seven of Cups. What's that new perspective? Wow. Now, Virgo what this person did to you now you're doing to them you're handing it right handing it right back to them but you know what i don't feel like you're doing it on purpose i feel like you're just you're just like i'm out and however that looks i hear you saying to your person however that looks to you you that's your perspective but i'm not intentionally trying to do anything here even though Virgo, you feel like this person was intentionally playing you. You're not playing this person because Virgo doesn't play. Virgo's like, you're either with me or you're not. It's you can't not have halfway. You, like, what do I look like? Right? <laughs> Casual dining service here. Virgo, you are just your feet. These boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. That's where you're at, Virgo. And you're not doing it on purpose. You just got your moxie back. You got your, you got your vibe back. And this person is like, now they're seeing that you're not trying to commit. You're non-committal to them. You're not falling all over them. You're not really interested, Virgo. And I really feel like you're not. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a look here. You're being very cold and intellectual. If you're still communicating with this person, you're not showing any emotions. You're just, if you have to talk to them or you're still talking to them, you're just keeping your emotions out of it. You know, you're talking about work, you're talking about, I don't know how you changed the tires on your car the other day you're keeping things really surface nothing deep and this person is trying to come in now with the heart with the heart to, now they want to talk to you about how they feel 
all of a sudden, where they really weren't doing that before, not honest, true, honestly discussing their feelings, they weren't doing that before, they were just playing games, and now here they come, and Virgo's like, step off, you had your chance, (laughs) Virgo. All right, let's take a look. Seven of Pentacles here. Contemplation. Um, This person, I'm not kidding. They are ready to work. They want to work on your partnership. It's the runner chaser. It's to- And now the tables have turned. It's flipped. I think I did a reading like this the other day. So this might be a continuation of that. The more you are like, no... Less is more, Virgo. The more you're not investing, the more you're like, no, the more this person's coming after you, the more you... And listen, if, if, you, if you have a stalker in your hands and you want this stalker to go away, you're going to have to give them a little bit of attention so that they leave you be a little bit. But other than that, you're going to have to get like a restraining order. But if you're trying to have this person come after you, then ignoring them seems to be the way it... it the way it goes. I have to tell you though that this does not work on like beta male or beta female. Okay. Beta males, beta females, the minute that you start ignoring them, they start sulking and they never reach out. So you got to make the determination of who your person is. I see kings here. I see the king of wands and the king of swords. Kings are alpha males. Okay. Um, if we have some pages here that I would say, okay, you're dealing with a page who is kind of beta, kind of immature, um, just doesn't have the confidence to come chasing after you a lot. I think that's sometimes where the mistake is with a lot of you, not all of you. Um, you, you mix up the difference between the beta and the alpha. There are men out there who, um, you know, they're they're like the old cavemen, you know, and I'm talking about the men here. And there's women who are alpha females, and then there's beta females. But as far as alpha, alphas will like, you know, that's the caveman thing. They grab you by the hair and they drag you in. Like, that's like, you're mine, you're mine, period. And the betas wait for their hair to be dragged, making the roles switch a little bit, right? Two alphas together, wow. It's like a clash when they're competitive with each other. But two betas, nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens. So the runner chaser is the alpha and the beta combination. Okay. And if now you're, if you're, it seems like you're now the runner, you're getting away. So now you're in your beta mode. And this person's coming after you in alpha mode, right? Um, but you got to know, like, if some of you are like, well, I don't know why he won't che- he won't come after me. He doesn't initiate. Well, it's probably never going to happen if you're dealing with a beta, because an alpha male will always be the initiator. Okay, that was just a little side note here. All right, let's take a look. This seven of pentacles. This person is kind of like, hmm, they're catching on. They're catching on that you're you're they're trying to talk to you they're trying to reach out they're trying to have a conversation with you and you're kind of like they're catching on to something that your energy is just your energy's not there yep look five of cups here they're feeling kind of sad here remorseful there's like i feel like this person felt was very competitive so it kind of feels like it feels like this is kind of an ego thing it starts out that way like an ego thing you know oh well virgo's not talking to me so you know i'm gonna fight and get virgo back but virgo you have a um you have a horse stance like none other you're solid virgo and you like when you make up your mind it's gonna take a lot to to for you to be reconvinced or convinced that you want to go back to someone like you it's tough for virgos just got that going on virgos are like you know what because virgos will give and give and give and give and give for somebody and serve and love but you know once virgos virgo is a lot like scorpio and it's interesting because virgo and scorpio used to be one and then libra came in and split them apart that's actual true story about the zodiac um virgo and scorpio that's why they both have the m glyph they're they're but one is with the fish okay one is the wheat chaff 
and the other is the scorpion tail which is what the separation was but virgo and scorpio were one so if you were dealing with a scorpio um good luck with that but what i want to tell you here is this person is actually feeling like the massive stonewalling here you're stonewalling this person and i don't like i said i don't feel like you're, you're meaning to do it i don't feel like you're tr purposely trying to hurt anybody you're just like yo you know what you just drop the mic <laughs> virgo you just drop the mic and that's it once you drop the mic that's it and it's going to take a whole lot of floundering around and peacocking and flapping those wings to get you to notice somebody again like they're gonna have to come back showing up with like they're gonna have to either make a fool of themselves or something anything anything hang from a plane skydive into your living room anything it's got to be pretty grand to make you want to talk to this person again you're really holding them up to um high standards here Virgo, you're, I feel like you're kind of like, you know, I only want the best of the best and no less. Best because I'm the best of the best. Take it from Derek. <laughs> Everyone should know I'm a stud. <laughs> right, Derek. I laugh when I, when I reread your, your chats there. It's hilarious. But that's how you got to think of yourself. Take it from Derek. Male or female. <laughs> okay. So you have the Six of Pentacles. So this is a card about exchange. Okay, so hmm. so I have the lovers here in my hand, but I want to preface this with no matter what directions the lovers come out, what direction the lovers card shows up, it's always a positive card, okay? So the lovers is here, and it is talking about like the love is here, but in the reverse, there's a delay in the decision about to come back in your person knows this some of them may try to um buy some per person purchase did i say purchase i i just heard purchase may try to buy or purchase something start bringing you flowers start buying you gifts Th these are going to be some of the tactics this person is going to try to do um send you cash out money, I don't know, um, buy you food, offer to do something, because the Six of Pentacles is, that's a giving energy, that's like duty, ascent, doing things like, oh, you might come outside of your house and see that they they brought your trash cans in for you, um, or they, they leave like something, they leave a gas card, gift card or something in your mailbox um, they want to start doing these servicey things to try to help you as tokens of like hey i'm trying to show that i'm here i'm here i want to be here i want to do this i want to do stuff for you even some of the things that you were um for some of you upset that this person was not doing now all of a sudden they're going to start doing it <laughs> virgo's like i could do that shit myself at this point so nope next that's not going to work. <laughs> I'll vacuum my own damn rug. I don't need you. I can bring my cans in. <laughs> I know how to wash my car. I don't need you. I needed you to do all that stuff before when I asked you. And you said, yeah, but you kept procrastinating. You didn't do it. And Virgo, not that you're looking for someone to be a maid or anything for you or a server, you know. But, oh, now you remember my birthday? Oh, now you want to give me a gift? Now you want to wish me happy birthday? My birthday was in freaking September. Now it's it's October. Virgo, you cannot be played. Okay, Gemini energy here. So this person is going to do what they can and try to win this love back. They're going to work. Work, 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 work. Da -da -da -da. Work, 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 work. Working on the partnership. Mm-hmm judgment day oh yeah oh this is like this is like the you know what when you're on like the mat gymnastics the olympics and you go through your whole routine 
And then the judges put up the number and score you, score your routine. This person's working for Judgment Day. They're working for all tens, Virgo. <laughs> they want to prove it. They're coming in to prove it to you. Well, man, I feel like this person's just so either super egotistical or really in love. Because Virgo, you're kind of like, I just see some of you like, mm -mm. you know, you're going to have to walk through hot coal, you vicious, evil Virgos. Walk through hot coal barefoot and prove to me you love me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Okay. If, for the ladies dealing with a man, start breastfeeding that baby every day. I don't care you don't have any milk. I don't care. Find a way. Prove to me. <laughs> for God. You can really put this person through it. Walk away. Walk around. No, are you coming back to me? Okay. I'm gonna. You're gonna humiliate them. Not all of you. Not all of you. And some of you might not even do it at all. Okay. But there is just that feeling. I'm picking up a feeling like it's kind of. I don't know the word soliloquy. I don't know. It's kind of a word to say. This is what it's gonna take. The way I feel, Virgo. You're like the way. You humiliated me. Now you need to humiliate yourself in front of me. You need to not only come and do all this for me, but you need to come and help my family. You need to come and apologize to my family. You need to put it on a billboard driving down I-95. You need to show the world that you effed up and you need to do whatever I tell you to do and until I am convinced that you are coming back here because you really want to be here and it's because it's out of heart and not out of ego. Preach. <laughs> and right you should, Virgo. Get yourself up on that pedestal. Some of you fell off. Get up back up on that pedestal. So quit playing. I don't care if you have stretch marks. I don't care if you're getting old. I don't care if you got a... a a pouch belly now I don't care if you're not GQ or you, you know or your lashes aren't done or your nails are who cares because you're special no matter what okay all right so we have the death card and the Queen of Pentacles that's what I'm talking about Virgo and Scorpio okay some of you connecting with a Scorpio 100% see that's the thing about Scorpio Scorpio doesn't understand Virgo. Scorpio can Scorpio can very easily manipulate a lot of signs, but not Virgo, because Virgo understands Scorpio because they were once one in the same. And Scorpio is just stupid. Scorpio just doesn't realize it because Virgo is super intelligent, right? But anyway, Virgo, this is your message here, right here. Prove to me. Walk through the shadow of the valley of death to show me that you want to be with me and you mean this or else i'm just leaving i'm out of here i can cut this off like death and never return <laughs> boom that's your message all right let's take a look at the love messages here now, if you're not doing with a, obviously dealing with a Scorpio, then it's still the same message here. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I'm just here in public enemy. Everybody's your public enemy right now who's not doing right by you. How weird. Guess what I just got? And I will do the charms today. Um, an American flag. Land of the free. Home of the brave. Um, okay, I'm going to leave that right there. I don't know what that means. That's you. That's your motto. Land of the free, home of the brave. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. All right. Enough silliness. I've only had one cup of coffee throughout the whole day so I think I'm about to go get another one 
All right, love messages. What's so proudly we have by the twilight's last gleaming? It's gonna be stuck in your head, isn't it? Tomorrow you're gonna be singing that song. All right, come on already with the love messages. Oh, this is a new one. I can still see you standing there. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. I can't get the tune. The uh, I'm out of tune. Okay. I don't know what. The, oh, <laughs> they just. I can still see. I can. I'm watching your ass shake as you walk away. Virgo says, "That's right. You better just watch it shake because that's the last thing you're gonna see." My sexy ass. <laughs> All right. I don't know. It looks like spirit doesn't want to give you any messages here. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Maybe they're just, I don't know. We must have like a real sassy spirit today. Decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. Work on the partnership. All right. This person's already decided. They have already decided. Okay. But you, you're not decided. You're undecided. And, and we know why, because you're getting your coals ready out there in the driveway before they walk up to your front door. They're going to have to cross those hot coals first. <laughs> oh, who's calling me from Philadelphia? I don't know anybody over there in that particular area. All right, let's see. Okay, past life love. All right, fine. Yeah, you know why it's past life? Because... As I said, some of you, this was with the Scorpio. There was a connection there already. Um, for others, for, okay, I'm just going to say this right now. Hardest thing you've ever done. Virgo, <clears throat> some of you, this is the hardest thing you've ever done. You're willing to let this person go 100%. Um, if they don't come to, come to you and really fix this thing up here on their end, the mess that they made, right? This is hard for you because you guys have been, a lot of you, I know Virgos are the martyrs of the Zodiac and a lot of you stayed way past your welcome. And this is the hardest thing for you, right? But you'll do it. You will do it because it really takes from your core and your gut to actually walk away from a relationship, someone you love. It takes everything no matter how they're treating you. But you you have your limit. You put a cap on it. You did. Don't beat yourself up if some of you stayed for 15 years or you know years and years or you stayed well long after you knew you should have left. Don't beat yourself up for that because that's just, that's just a show of your character, of who you are. You're loyal and dedicated and you gotta be proud of that. You should always be proud of that. You know, it's, it's an honor to be a martyr in other countries in this world. So if you take it from that perspective, you did the honorable thing. But now Virgo's like, well, we here in America and we ain't doing that no more. <laughs> For those American Virgos. <laughs> Okay, true love. This love is emotional, physical. Yeah, you know it's your true love. And Virgo, you don't want a hundred, you don't want to, you just want this person to knock off the nonsense. You just, they're like, okay, fine. You want to come back? There's the coal. Get to stepping. But this is your true love, Virgo. No doubt. All right, I want to see this person's emotions. What's going on with them? I hope that you can forgive me one day. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, walk over the coals first, then I'll forgive you. I lost myself for a little while. The hell you did. My life is not as together as it seems. Virgo, I, I feel like you already know all this. Like, you're looking at this person like you're an idiot. Like, don't be coming in with this poor me stuff. Virgo just doesn't fall. Virgo, you've done enough. 
You don't know how hard it was to let you go. It just feels like a bunch of boo-hoos this, for this reading. You know, Virgo, you're kind of like, okay, well, we can have this. We can have all these heart-to-heart -heart conversations you want. We can open up and everything and talk about all that stuff. But right now, you need to climb through that barbed wire fence. Naked. With a pack of wolves about to bite your ass. That's kind of where you're at. I hid who I really am from you. But I am different now. Yeah, you're going to look a lot different when you get all the barbed wire scratches going down your back. You need to play Jesus. Walking up to the... Oh, what the heck was it called? That totally just slipped my mind. You know, where they put the cross up. I know the name of it and I can't freaking forget. Oh, gosh. I hate when that happens, you guys. When you get to be like in your 50s and older... Retrieving stuff right away. The temp, the hill, temple, temple mound, I think it's called. I can't remember. And then stuff just falls away. It just completely, like for me, it does. I need a little like electrical shocks in the brain. All right, where are we at? We're going to do some advice cards here. All right, there we go. Advice cards. Temple of the mound. Temple of the Dog. <laughs> Temple of the Dog. Chris Cornell. Uh, Eddie Vedder. What's that song? Starving? Wait. I can't remember this song. It's kind of, it's partially playing in my head. Partially playing in my head. That might be the song that this person you're singing to this person. I don't know if you know it. You're gonna make this person starve. No food, no water. Gosh, Virgo. I mean, listen. These are all figurative speeches, right? I hope. I, hopefully, I don't have to clarify that. Clarify that for you. I really don't want you to have somebody like get beaten up just to prove their love to you. Like if that's the case, you know, mm, you need a psychiatrist. But I feel like if your intention is this is kind of what they're going to have to do to prove to me or convince me to even look back in their direction, um, then that's fine. Let's take a look here. Oh, what tower? This is the tower transformation, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made, Virgo. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. This tower, like this is what you need to see from this person. Your advice is to only see that and nothing else for a long period of time, not just for one day or two days. You need to see a total breakdown of this person, like down on their knees, changed. Tower, lightning comes, lightning strikes, just destroys everything, knocks everybody and everything down to the ground where they have to like stand there looking around like and be lucky that they even survived. This person is lucky that they've survived you and then have to find a way to rebuild again with you. you Got to be from the ground up, ground zero, because that tower card is 9-11. And, you know, that's the planes hitting that building with the lightning strike and those people, the jumpers. Virgo, you are pulling a 9-11 on this person because that's what it's going to take. Massive shift and change and ruin for you to take them back Whew. i feel you today virgo i feel you today what eight of wands too much going on i don't think i've ever had this card this is weird um too much going on stress caused by many positive opportunities 
unexpected events or rapid changes. Wow, Virgo, look out for it. Things are going to change swiftly and fast. Look out for it. Be ready with this person. They'll do whatever. And if this is an alpha you're dealing with, holy moly. Because a beta, I can see the I can see a beta doing this. But the alpha, wow. That you must have some kind of power if you're dealing with an alpha personality. Betas, betas have it a little bit easier. They're they're doormats anyway, so they don't mind being doormats again. Um, let's see. Ha! <laughs> King of Pentacles. I love how you show up in your readings all the time. All right, Virgo, here you go. It's a time for great success, financial security, and prosperity. You have the Midas touch, Virgo. This is all you. Everything turns out beautifully because you know it's in. you got it in the bag here. A supportive parent and spouse, a good person to work for. So it's all about you staying in your element, Virgo. And... Not taking any SHI TT from anybody, from anyone, being being your authentic stronghold. Like I said yesterday in the reading, the King of Pentacles is much stronger than the Queen of Pentacles. The King is more in that yang energy, and you gotta get out of you. Virgo, you are a yin energy. You know the yin and the yang symbol? Okay, you're the you're the yin. The yin is the negative, it's the dark, it absorbs everything it's passive it's cold it's um slow you know it's black you know um it's like a black humor humor meaning like um the, the humors the fluids of the body you know it's like sludge like that's that's virgo that's the yin it's wet deep Okay, like the like a black abyss. But you are taking on a yang. Yang is the white, the bright, the pure, the open, the out, the extrovert. The yin is the introvert, and the yang is the extrovert. You're taking the lead. You're taking the alpha lead here. You're turning your yang person into a yin, and you're turning your yin person into more of a yin. You're the boss. <laughs> That's it. I mean, you always were, but Virgo, you're 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 more like a behind the scenes boss, right? You have a commanding way about you. A lot of people just don't want to be around you because sometimes you could just be too nitpicky and stuff. But I don't know. You got something going on here where you you're really like putting yourself first. That's it. You're just getting into your true blue uh, Virgo energy. I just heard that Madonna song. Because it's true love. You're the one I'm thinking of. All right. Your heart fits me like a glove. Didn't I say that yesterday? It has to fit like a glove. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> OJ. All right. What do we have here? charms okay oh all right we get that red heart back again like i said neon red heart for some of you or you have a red heart tattoo this um okay somebody here lives in seattle washington or new york city i was just picking up sleepless in seattle from this the heart that, that was in the um Empire State Building in that movie, Sleepless in Seattle. Maybe some of you are watching it or you watched it again. I don't know. Okay, now we have ooh, Four Leaf Clover. Lucky, lucky. Okay, definitely Ireland. Somebody's name is Patrick or Patricia um, or is Irish. Works in like a little Irish store. Um, uh, some of you are going to find a four leaf clover amongst a patch of three leaf clovers. So keep your eye out. If you find one, come back in the comments section and I will give you a free one hour reading. Um, but you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta like, 
take a picture of yourself with it or what the way I ask you to do it <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to get you your free reading and get proof of it but not that I'm suspicious or sus but definitely um, if you find a four-leaf clover you need to let me know okay watch watch like a hundred of you are gonna find a four-leaf clover <laughs> I'll pick one random winner okay so we've got a turtle here cute little a cute little turtle okay who likes turtles teenage mutant ninja turtles so slow 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 but who wins the race not the rabbit the turtle okay um, maybe you have a pet turtle please don't have a pet turtle please put them back into the swamp area or the lake um, or some of you might have one and it's fine uh, somebody paints the turtle shells I saw somebody do that once but I think these are like carcasses of turtles they're not like live turtles they're like already passed away turtles or you're painting a turtle little decorative crafty kind of thing here it's interesting because we have a turtle and we have a fish bone bonefish grill somebody goes to bonefish grill somebody likes turtle soup some kind of like um some type of delicacy foods like that i'm feeling this um fish bone here it just this time blah this feels to me like all the meat of this relationship has been torn off torn off the body of the fish there's nothing left but skeleton at this point like it's just completely like you've gone anorexic on this relationship like there is nothing left it's drained you drained you some of you couldn't eat you've lost weight you've had the shits for months you just have been very sick from this it's really been torturous others of you you know you fared pretty well you weren't like stressing out too too much but you just kept your your wits about you uh, i just feel like somebody lost a lot of weight somebody you know um who said yesterday in the chat why i'm always talking about fitness and working out and stuff um here's why and i just want to say this i see a pyramid okay i see a pyramid at the very top of the period pyramid needs to be your spiritual health at the very very top not like down there at the bottom not on the side your spiritual health your spiritual fitness has to be at the very top okay and then everything else falls into place underneath that so when i say a lot of people like a lot of people will go to the gym to work out their physical muscles but a lot of people don't go to, to the church or spiritual practices or places to work out their spiritual muscles right i say the gym because i feel like a lot of people that's what they do and that's what i pick up but i'm definitely connecting those messages to people who are very focused on that part of um, their gains but gains have to be emotional gains spiritual gains mental gains and physical gains right um, nothing wrong with going to the gym nothing wrong with doing all of that but it's very very important that your spiritual gains be at the top first once you got that set then everything else trickles down beautifully in your life when you have your spiritual you don't have a guide post or a shining north star or something guiding you in your life um, then you're just rigid and you're cold and you're trapped in boxes okay <laughs> Just strange message so we also have um an axe here okay i just heard molly hatchet maybe somebody's name is molly or doing a molly hatchet halloween outfit here um this is like hacking away though hacking away things that aren't necessary especially in this relationship or this connection has been has been difficult for you you're just virgo some of you you're just out there like a lumberjack and you're just cutting away all the people places and things that just are weighing you down you know cutting those sandbags loose um, you are equipped you have your arsenal you're equipped okay also uh, there's a firefighter they are you know someone who's a firefighter I was thinking of like a Christmas gift I don't know I'm sure their fire departments provide these but Maybe something about buying a firefighter one of these or something i also heard bullhorn 
something about a bullhorn. Um, so I think that's it for the messages. I'm not going to go do the singles because I did the singles yesterday. Um, but I'm going to leave this here. You guys, I'm going to start up the membership, um, portion of my channel where, um, I have to wait to see if what I'm going to be doing with that specifically will get approved. If it does, I'll let you guys know. Um, for a small fee, you can join my channel and then we'll, I'll do private live streams for everyone the way we do it here with everyone in the chat, but it won't be open to the public. It'll just be for those who have memberships. So it's like the VIP club, okay, for a very small fee. And once you are in, then we can go to town. Hopefully they're going to let me, but um, I'll get to use like cards like these. I don't know. I'll give you a snapshot because like I showed you, you probably can't see it, but yeah. And I'll tell you what the deck is and I have some other goodies coming up. So I'll let you guys know when that happens. I'll let all the mods know. All right, you guys, I'm going to get done here with your reading. Thank you um, to all of my moderators, um, 808, Br Brittany, Cutie Queen, Joanne. Who else do I have? I'm missing somebody. Glenda? I think Glenda. Jeez, 808. You know what, you guys? I want you to um, say hello to the mods. Yeah, I'm sure you have been, but... Um, They've been a, a really great help here on my channel. And um, if you guys are joining to be a part, oh, Antoinette, there we go. If you guys are joining to be a part of um, my channel, to be a moderator, you have to download the WhatsApp link because I have the Mod Squad group here. Um, and I need you to be a part of that. If you don't have the iPhone, you got to let me know ahead of time. Oh, and Charity. I haven't seen charity okay so all right you guys i will see you all tomorrow have a fantastic rest of the week and um, don't forget to hop on on friday to get the um mini paid reading if you want to get a little mini reading from me okay 8 p.m eastern standard time all right you guys see you later bye